أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتح علينا فتوح العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وانت يا حي يا قيوم تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا سهلا اللهم عزنا من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا وأصلح لنا شأننا كله لا إله إلا أنت نستغفر فيرك ونتوب إليك ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد My dear and most respected brothers and sisters and friends I greet you all with the greetings of Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. And welcome once again to this special program coming to you from the Islamic Forum of Canada, where we share with you this message of mercy from God Almighty to all of His creation. Today, another special program, a special day for us. It is the first program for the new Islamic year, 1440 after the Hijra of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from Mecca to Medina. Uh, a great moment indeed, the beginning of the new Islamic year, the beginning of the blessed sacred month of Muharram, the first month of the Islamic year, today being the fifth day of that month. And so it's the time for reflection and giving thanks. We mentioned the verse uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God might reveals in the Quran, Tabarak alladhi ja'ala fissama burujan wa ja'ala fiha sirajan wa qamara munira wa huwa alladhi ja'ala layla wa nahara khilfatan liman arada an yadhakara aw arada shukura talking about uh, this special time uh, of the year uh, an, an old year com being completed and a new year starting and uh, time moving on and the lessons to be learned from that that I want to share with you today but before that a special prayer at this special time of the beginning of the new Islamic year, we want to turn to, to God Almighty, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and make a special dua, a special supplication to God Almighty to beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty, for His mercies and forgiveness, uh, and that He would continue to shower His blessings upon all of us. Uh, to remember the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevate His maqam in the dunya and in the akhirah. To remember the noble Ahlul Bayt. And especially in this month of Muharram, the Shuhada of Karbala and the Ashab of Karbala. Uh, to remember all the Sahabas, uh, to remember the Awliya of this Ummah, the Awliya of Rasulullah. In our prayer today, we also, at the beginning of this new Islamic year, today being the first program for the new Islamic year, I want to remember and to pray to God Almighty for all our donors and sponsors and supporters everyone that has contributed to the Islamic form of canon in the past year, praying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of them. And to remember all of you, our wonderful viewers that 
uh, share this company and this journey with us uh, every week. Uh, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of you. And so with that niyyah, with that intention uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us and uh, bless us with more of his bounties and mercies, uh, I kindly request you to uh, raise your hands and join me in reciting this special prayer, the opening chapter of the Quran, Surah Al-Fatiha, uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us kabul and tawfiq and ziyadah, uh, accept from us and bless us with more of his goodness and more more of his blessings. Rabbana taqabal minna. Rabbana bisiri al-fatiha. Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahmani r-Rahim. Maliki yawmiddin. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'een. Ihdina al-sirat al-mustaqeem. Sirat al-lazina an'amta alayhim. Ghayri al-maghdubi alayhim walad. Dalleen. Amin, Amin, Amin. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us with His mercies and His guidance and His forgiveness and grant us the good of this dunya and the good of the akhirah, the good of this world and the good of the hereafter. This month of Muharram. Uh, a time for reflection as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala God Almighty reveals in the Quran Liman arada an yadhakara o arada shukura so we, we talked in our previous program about the, the important lessons uh, for this event of the new Islamic year and this month of Muharram, the great sacred month of Muharram so tazkir, uh, this uh, concept of reflection and remembrance uh, we need to remember and to know and to be cognizant of our past journey, the past year, what we've done with that, and, and to learn lessons. The good things that we did, amplify that, do more of that. The not so good things that we did, minimize it, get rid of it, so our lives can become better and more pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the, the concept of shukr, this mindset I want you to be, to uh, live, to, to, uh, to embrace, to practice every moment of your life, the mindset of shukr, which is to constantly, to continuously, to perpetually express gratitude and thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. God Almighty mentions an important sunnah, an important law of His in this Quran. Wala in shakartum la azidannakum. If you are thankful, if you are grateful, I will increase you with my blessings, with my mercies, with my ni'mah and bounties. So the way to continue to receive the blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always to thank Him. It's, it's a recognition of the source of uh, or the blessings in our life. The source of all the blessings in our life is, the, is God Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He gives it to us and through the mercy of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This month of Muharram, it's also a, uh, an occasion where many great events took place. Many great events took place. Uh, we, we, would, we would talk about Karbala uh, and to remember Karbala, the events of Karbala the, and the Shuhada of Karbala and Amir Shuhada, the Prince of Martyrs, Sayyidina Imam Hussein, the noble grandson of the noble Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and to remember them. And the theme we have uh, for this month of Muharram is Mahabbatu Ahl Bayt, the love of Ahlul Bayt. So for us to develop in our heart uh, uh, this uh, amazing, passionate uh, love for the Ahlul Bayt, the noble family of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But I also want to mention this practice of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam of fasting in the month of Muharram, and especially in Ashura, the 10th of Muharram, and the Prophet said, join it with the day before or the, or the day after. So I recommend to you to fast the 9th, 10th, and 11th of the month of Muharram. The, the 9th would be Wednesday, September the 19th. The 10th of Muharram would be Thursday, September the 20th, and 11th of Muharram, Friday, September the 21st, inshallah. Remember those days so you can fast on those three days. And you get the blessings of, of perpetually fasting for the month, inshallah. The reason for the fast, the Prophet, so when he went to Medina uh, in this migration, and, and we commemorate this migration now this new year, he found that the followers of uh, Prophet Musa alayhi salam, 
uh, they were fasting to give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for delivering them from the persecution of Fir'aun. And, and the Prophet said an amazing statement. He said, Nahnu awla bihi. We are closer to Prophet Musa alayhi salam, to Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam. And therefore he fasted, he ordered the Muslims to fast. And before the fast of Ramadan was enjoined, became compulsory, the fast of Muharram was compulsory. After the fast of Ramadan was enjoined on the Muslims, then the fast of Muharram became Sunnah, but the Prophet never missed it. I want you to be mindful about this so you can observe the fast of this month of Muharram. It's very important. Great blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what the Prophet wants us to do. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you once again. Happy Islamic New Year. At the Islamic Forum School, we teach Islamic sciences, Arabic language, and Tajweed training. Classes are available for all age groups. It was narrated that Rasulullah said, A faithful person cannot have enough of teachings that lead to piety, guidance, until it leads him to paradise. It was also narrated, Scholars are the inheritors of the sciences of the prophets of Allah. It was also narrated, Words of wisdom are the beloved of the faithful. was narrated that Rasulullah was asked why he fasts Mondays. He said, it was the day I was born. As was narrated in Hadith Qudsi, those whom are engaged in my mentioning, I am with them as if I was their companion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Those who mention Allah profusely are given by Allah forgiveness and great reward. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Happy Islamic New Year to each and every one of you. The beginning of this great sacred month of Muharram and of the new Islamic year 1440 after the Hijra, the migration of the Prophet from Mecca to Medina. I want to share with you this. Uh, a wonderful opportunity today in this blessed moment, in this blessed time, this month of Muharram, the new Islamic year, uh, our fundraising appeal for our new masjid project. As you know, we're building the roof, the ceiling of the masjid, and we'd like you to sponsor one block today for $100, inshallah, and, and then join the monthly pledge. We'd like you to join the monthly pledge, sponsor one block every month, $100. You can go to the Islamic Forum website, uh, to the donation page, and you can use your credit card or a check and so on to make your donations, your contribution to this noble cause. Or you can call the Islamic Forum and one of the volunteers would get back to you to facilitate your donation to the Islamic Forum. But we make a special appeal on this special day today, the first program for uh, this month of Muharram for the new Islamic year. Uh, and we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with softened hearts of everyone to respond generously to the appeal to support the Islamic Forum, inshallah. Remember the fast uh, 9th, 10th, and 11th of Muharram, and then the other days of Muharram. Uh, the 9th would be Wednesday, September 19th. The 10th of Muharram is Thursday, September the 20th. The 11th of Muharram, Friday, September 21st. So remember those days. And then the monthly uh, Sunnah fast for Muharram, the 13th, 14th, and 15th of the Islamic month, the weekly uh, Sunnah fast of Muharram every Monday and Thursday. So there are great opportunities to, to observe this month in a special way. The Prophet Sallallahu used to fast in this month of Muharram more than in any other month except the month of Ramadan, which was a total month of fasting. So try to do as much as you can, inshallah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you with great blessings and great mercies and forgiveness and, and would bring barakah in your lives and the lives of your loved ones, inshallah. 
uh, remember tomorrow this special event uh, we are having it is the uh, the fundraising barbecue event at the Islamic Forum 200 Advanced Boulevard in Brampton starting at 1 p.m. we hope you can uh, be uh, join us tomorrow for this special event the barbecue fundraising event to commemorate the new Islamic year so we want you to come out bring your family tell your relatives your friends and others to come to the Islamic Forum uh, for this special barbecue event tomorrow. Uh, please call the Islamic Forum 905-790-8859 to reserve your tickets or you can go online and do so inshallah. And once again, come out with your family and please tell relatives and friends to come out as well. The ongoing programs continue at Islamic Forum. Uh, our, our Islamic school has started. Uh, the new school year resumed in September uh, and it's every Saturday from 10.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, you can register your children and tell your uh, family friends that, uh, you know, that they can register their children as well. Come next Saturday and do the registration that your children can join the Islamic school so that they can learn uh, important knowledge about Islam so that for the rest of their life they can uh, practice Islam in an appropriate, a beautiful way uh, based on the, this beautiful teaching we offer them at Islamic Forum. But you have to make uh, the sacrifice, you have to make this uh, effort, this striving to bring your children out and register them to the Islamic school. They, children, they cannot come on their own uh, to, to the Islamic Forum for the Islamic school on weekends and Saturdays. Uh, so we, we appeal to you to do so and tell others as well. The other programs, uh, Juma program, 1 p.m. every Friday, the Islamic Forum. Uh, please attend uh, if possible and tell others to attend. We have a special Thursday halakha or study circle for youth. This is a special youth program every Thursday evening starting at 7 p.m. for tasawwuf and other topics. Uh, so tell the youth that you know, teenagers, young adults and so on, so that they can join this special youth program. And every Saturday at 6 p.m., the special maulid or family program at Islamic Forum. These are some of the wonderful activities we have, and we'd like you to be part of us. Join with us on this beautiful journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you once again. Happy Islamic New Year to each and every one of you. It was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, A hajj that is accepted by Allah cannot be rewarded with less than paradise. It was also narrated, those who visit me in my grave and make salam to me, Allah will return my soul to me so that I can return their salam. It was also narrated, he who makes hedge and during which does not transgress in word or action will be forgiven his sins to become sinless like a newborn. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, O you who believe, when you hear the call to Jumu'ah, hasten to make the mentioning of Allah. It was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Friday is the best of days that the sun has risen on. And he also said, there is an hour on the day of Jumu'ah, or Jumu'ah, during which the prayer of a Muslim is answered.
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, among the reasons uh, given for the greatness of this time, this month of Muharram, is that many amazing events took place in this month. We mentioned uh, the the uh, events of Karbala, and inshallah, throughout this month of Muharram, we'll talk much about Huba Ahlul Bayt and the Shuhada of Karbala and so on. Uh, Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam, uh, the, the events in his life, uh, this was the, the time Muharram when he was delivered from the persecution of Pharaoh. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused uh, Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam and his followers to cross over the Red Sea through that that miracle and then destroyed fear in his army after they tried to pursue him. The other event that took place in this month of Muharram is that Prophet Adam salam, was granted forgiveness by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this month of Muharram. Uh, so the, the occasion of Ashura, the month of Muharram, has many uh, great significance because of these great events in the lives of the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And many other events which inshallah we'll talk in our future programs during this month of Muharram so we can have a sense of the greatness of this month. And this is why we need to strive to observe this month in, in a special way. So uh, Prophet Musa alayhi salam, Prophet Adam alayhi salam, and then the household of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Ahlul Bayt, and especially Imam, uh, Imam Hussein and the other members of Ahlul Bayt and the events of Karbala. Now, I want to mention a statement of Imam Shafi'i. Imam Shafi'i, radiallahu anhu, who is uh, called Imam Ahlul Sunnah, the Imam of Ahlul Sunnah, he says, Hubb Ahlul Bayti fardun indana. The love of Ahlul Bayt is compulsory upon us. It is farad upon us to love Ahlul Bayt. This is what he said, this great Imam, this one of the greatest scholars of Islam. And and it's based on what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran and what the Prophet mentioned in the Hadith. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, referring to, to, the, to the words of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa to the feedings of the Prophet, to what the Prophet himself says, Kul la as'alukum alayhi ajran illa al-mawaddata fil qurba. Say, O Muhammad, I ask of you not Nothing in in response or in reward as a reward for what I've done for you, except love of my family. So we love Ahlul Bayt. At the same time, the best of uh, those who love Ahlul Bayt is the Prophet وسلم, the Sahabas, and so on. And they all loved Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq, Sayyidina Umar, uh, Sayyidina Aisha, Rajulahu uh, anhum. So the love of Ahlul Bayt should never cause us to hate the companions because the Prophet وسلم, loved all his companions. And Sayyidina Umar was martyred on the, at the beginning of Muharram, giving his life for Islam. Uh, so we need to be mindful that uh, this love is channeled in a good way to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and closer to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you.
Help us make this dream a reality. We need your financial support. Please, donate generously. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I want to remind you tomorrow, this special event at the Islamic Forum, it's our barbecue fundraising event. It starts at 1 p.m. at the Islamic Forum. I hope to see all of you there, inshallah. Please come out and please tell your relatives and friends to come out as well for this special uh, program to commemorate the new Islamic year, inshallah. Uh, I want to uh, thank uh, several of the brothers and sisters who've donated recently and to make this special appeal to you today to uh, donate uh, a block, sponsor one block of $100 for the new Masjid project and join the monthly pledge sponsoring one block every month, inshallah. You can go to the Islamic Forum uh, website website uh, and go to the donation page and make your donations there inshallah among the uh, brothers and sisters that i wanted to thank to and make special to offer them for their financial support of the islamic forum uh, sister bibi halima ali sister bibi taylor sister halimun rahim uh, harpeet singh louis selvaranjan uh, khuram javed uh, sidi muzammil corn uh, narjis rahman power pixel graphics and printing rabia shahid rani Rahman and family Sarah Rahman, Shahnaz Anwar, Shamiza Rahman, uh, Mahbuba Fazli, Zakran Ali, Asma Shahid Khan, uh, Asma Shahid Hamid, Arshal Khan, Ahmed Khan, Fazl Saifullah, Ismail Khan, Javid Bhatt, Sheikh Uthman, Abdul Halim, Azimun Rahman, uh, Asma Warsi, Sister Margaret, Bibi Zairul Khan, and several other families that have donated to the Islam Forum. We want to thank all of them and make special dua. Allah SWT bless all of them, inshallah. And uh, we hope that you can donate to the Islam Forum today. And may Allah SWT enrich you and bless you and bless your family, inshallah. Until we meet again, once again, happy Islamic New Year to each and every one of you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. <laughs> Oh,